Hello and welcome to the Creating a New World Dwarf Fortress 2014 tutorial. In this video, obviously, I'm going to be explaining the settings of the Creating a New World and what, how you should go about doing it and really what the settings all mean. So, Creating a New World is obviously very important because this is really when you decide the challenge of the game. This is where you decide all the settings that will affect difficulty, like how often you get attacked. If you're a new player, it's good to set these settings low, and if you're an advanced player, you can make the game more difficult. So it really adds to the scalability of this game, so you really want to pay attention. Right now we're looking at the create a world options that you're given. You're given a various number of settings to control the settings of your world. The various settings are world size, history, number of civilizations, maximum number of sites, number of beasts, natural savagery, and mineral occurrence. First let's talk about world size. World size determines how big the world that you're going to be playing in is. If you're playing on a lower end computer you want to opt more for pocket or smaller size. Those maps may look fairly small but every single square that you see is also shows up on a local area so the map is actually bigger than it looks. Obviously they scale up to be pretty big. That 64 by 64 I couldn't even fit the 128 and the 256. They were way too big for the screen. So if you're running on a lower end computer, I recommend that you put the world size down lower. It'll make the game run faster. It won't affect gameplay, but it'll affect how fast your world renders. So, Next we're going to look at the history. You get the choice between very short, short, medium, long, and very long. 5, 125, 250, 550, and 1050 years each. Basically, by choosing a longer time, it takes longer for the world to be made because it has to simulate all the stuff happening. If you choose a longer time, it gives civilizations, because there are other civilizations in this world, other civilizations, time to set up, time to get established, and yeah, that, that's what world history really does. It also creates Mega Beast, and I would really recommend if this is going to be your first world, go with the length of short, which is 125 years. That'll give enough time for civilizations to get established, but not enough time that it's all crazy and everything's all killed already. There are four civilizations that are in Dwarf Fortress, at least four playable, kind of playable civilizations. The Dwarves, the Humans, the Elves, and the Goblins. You may be wondering why there's a U, an at symbol, and a G. Those are actually the symbols for each of the races. For now, in Fortress mode, you can only play as Dwarves. But Number of Civilizations controls how many other strongholds, because there are other fortresses on your map. How many, like, how many of those there are on the map? How crowded you want it to be? You can choose anywhere of the five settings. I recommend you go for the middle ground because you still want some civilizations, but you don't want like a thousand other civilizations, you know, bothering you. You want some, but you don't want like tons. Maximum number of sites increases the odds that the world that you are generating will be a bit more random. Um, it increases the chance there'll be more mountains, more islands, more variation. If you want to go for a more kind of uniform, everything's kind of the same. Go for less maximum number of sites, and if you want more variation, you want more islands. Obviously, if you look at these two, the one on the left has less, the, has the least, and the number on the one on the right has the most. There's not always much differentiation because the worlds are randomly generated, but it increases the chances of it being a little more crazy. So if you want to go for that, this is really up to you. It doesn't really make much of a difference. The next two settings are the two difficulty settings. They are Number of Beasts and Natural Savagery. Number of Beasts determines how many Mega Beasts and Titans that there are in your world when the world initially spawns. This increases your chances of fighting a super powerful beast and having it be near you. Natural Savagery just increases the difficulty. It increases the amount of areas that are shaded in purple. Purple means that they're either haunted, terrifying, or sinister. It just makes everything in those areas more difficult. It's really fun if you want a challenging one, but if you want to go just easy, I recommend medium for both settings. Mineral occurrence is pretty self-explanatory. The higher the setting is, the more likely you are to have minerals and ores on your map. Obviously, the higher, the better chances. Pretty much if you set it at the highest setting, every single place will have minerals. If you set it at a lower setting, you'll have to look a little harder for some minerals. But do whatever you want with this. That's it. That's all the settings. Now go forth, create your world, do all the settings you want to, and hope to see you all in the next video. Thank you for watching this tutorial video. Goodbye.